Another link with a bygone age are the flying clubs dotted about the country. Far removed from the faster than sound jets we associate with modern air transport, the planes here represent flying in the real sense. But at the Flying Tiger Club at Red Hill in Surrey, even flying the planes they love isn't always enough. So they've perfected a series of stunt routines reminiscent of those pre-war daredevils. As a change from formation flying, here's something seldom seen these days. Mind you, standing on the wing scarcely raises an eyebrow among club members like motor racing champion Jack Brabham. Most of them have daredevil reputations of their own. The passenger in this case is ex-RAF pilot Lewis Benjamin, and he's piloted by Dennis Hartis, normally a vanguard pilot. This plane is, of course, a Tiger Moth powered by a 130 horsepower engine. members, including about 160 pilots, come from all walks of life, although quite a few are airline pilots who come here to relax for some real flying, as they put it. By today's standards, the cruising speed is relatively low, a mere 70 miles an hour, and the ceiling is not high, a mere 500 feet, but it's far enough to fall, especially when you're not wearing a parachute. Not that Lewis ever thinks about falling. In fact, he doesn't think about anything in particular, being conscious throughout of a singularly detached feeling, a feeling which encompasses almost everything and yet remains free from outside pressures and influences. In case you're wondering why he just stands there instead of doing a few handstands, the reason is that there are a number of restrictions these days on stunt flyers. In any case, the moth itself just isn't powerful enough to loop the loop with a man on top. But they're working on it. <laughs> 